Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Give yourself a good place to stay right here. This could be a home for the mind. Otherwise, it goes wandering out outside, exposed to the cold, exposed to the heat, the rain, the sun. In the meantime, it's not taking care of what it can develop inside as a good place to be. We have all these resources inside, but we don't pay atten much attention to them. Our interest has been pulled out to things in the world outside. And so we're missing out on a lot of the opportunities, so the fact that we're a human being with a mind that can understand things can bring. So it's not just a place to rest as you get inside with the breath. It's also a place where you can do your work. You're basically working from home, which means that when you're tired, you can rest. It doesn't depend on somebody's outside schedule. And then you can get back to work. This is your place. As the Buddha said, outside is the realm of Mara. You get bound up in sight, sound, smells, tastes, tactile sensations that you really like, and then they pull you out, pull you out, and then they trap you. Whereas inside, if you're developing awareness of the body in and of itself, and the breath in and of itself, watching out for any unskillful mind states, nurturing the skillful ones, that's your ancestral territory, that's your safe place. So you can make this a really comfortable place to be and make it, the mind more and more inclined to want to stay here. Instead of looking for its food outside, you've got this area inside. You can have your vegetables growing in your basement. Everything you need is right here for real happiness. As John Lee says, the things outside can be seen just as decorations along your way. In other words, of no real substance. The real substance is here inside. So make sure you pay careful attention inside, and that way you can make the most of what you've got.